So Prince Harry has arrived at the court to take to the witness box in his phone hacking case against the Mira Group newspapers. And all that we wish on Prince Harry is good luck. We just hope that he takes down these tabloids and that they're never going to do the same to other people. They have terrorized a lot of people for a long time and they just lacked someone, someone who could stand up and say that enough is enough. So for Prince Harry to do this, it just shows that he is a very brave person. And so just taking a look at even before Prince Harry arrived at court, you could see that there were so many camera crews. I've never seen in my life so many camera crews outside the royal court's justice. This is just so much for what the tabloids have been telling us about Prince Harry being so irrelevant. You can see that Prince Harry is so relevant and it's like they're not going to even have jobs if it was not for Prince Harry. So you can see that there are so many of them outside the royal courts of justice just awaiting for, for Prince Harry. And this is how Prince Harry looked today. And to me, Prince Harry doesn't look like someone who's even nervous. And to me, I think Prince Harry just looks uh, normal. He looks just the way he, he usually looks on a normal basis. And I don't think that he looks nervous at all. I know that he knows what he's doing and he is ready to take down these uh, tabloids. And being fifth in line to the throne, Prince Harry is the first senior royal since 1891 to ever stand in the witness box to ever enter the witness box that's why you are seeing all this attention is now being uh, diverted to prince harry because this is something that has not been seen in a very long time and that's why we just we just wish all the best all the good luck on prince harry today and Prince Harry is part of a wider case of more than a hundred claimants, but only four representative claims by individuals will be heard in court. That is of Prince Harry, those from Coronation Street actors Michael Turner and Nikki Sanderson, as well as are the ex-wife of comedian Paul Whitehouse and Fiona Reitman. So Harry first launched uh, his part of the lawsuit back in 2019 in reference to articles published between 1996 and 2011, which include information supposedly obtained through unlawful means. And Prince Harry will be questioned by the Mirror's barrister, Andrew Green, about articles with headlines such as Harry is a Chelsea fan and Hooray Harry Dumped, stories which detail his relationship with ex-girlfriend Chelsea Davy. He will also answer questions about his relationship with the former Mirror editor and now vocal critic of Harry and Meghan, that is, that is Piers Morgan, amid claims that he knew about the phone hacking. Even though Piers Morgan tries to deny this over and over again, there's a lot of evidence that claims Piers Morgan knew about the phone hacking and he actually even participated in the phone hacking of many other individuals. And let me just read you what Prince Harry has said in court. He said that as a consequence of me bringing my Mira Group claim, both myself and my wife have been subjected to a barrage of horrific personal attacks and intimidation from Piers Morgan, who was the editor of the Daily Mirror between 1995 and 2004, presumably in retaliation and in hope that I will back down before being able to hold him properly accountable for his unlawful activity towards both me and my mother during his editorship. I just love this statement from Prince Harry about Piers Morgan. This man has subjected Prince Harry and Meghan to a lot of criticism, a lot of intimidation, and he's been attacking Prince Harry and Meghan personally for a very long time. He hasn't for once, even said something positive about Prince Harry and Meghan. So I just hope that Piers Morgan is actually going to go down for everything that he has done to not only uh, Prince Harry and Meghan, but also what he did to Princess Diana. Because the evidences from court to a few weeks prior, which say that, P that Piers Morgan coordinated the constant uh, pursuit of Princess Diana. And Prince Harry has said that I'm bringing this claim not because I hate the tabloid press or even necessarily a section of it, 
but in order to properly hold the people who have hijacked those privileges which come with uh, with being a member of the press to account for their actions. I feel there is responsibility to expose this criminal activity in the name of public interest. Wow, I just love Prince Harry's words. And you can see clearly that everything that Prince Harry actually wants is just justice. Prince Harry doesn't want to be paid off. He doesn't want the tabloids to give him anything. All that Prince Harry wants is for justice to be served to all the people who've been affected by the actions of this tabloid press. And Prince Harry also wrote in his witness statement that how much more blood will stain their typing fingers before someone can put a stop to this madness. He explains that the comment was directed more broadly at the tabloid press rather than specific Mira Group newspaper journalists. Exactly, like how much more blood will stain their typing fingers before they can say that enough is enough. How much are they going to relentlessly go after innocent people just to write or sell their newspapers? This just goes to show that the tablets have no moral compass. They literally don't care about other people's lives. All they do care ab about is themselves and how much they are going to gain after they sell their papers. And in Prince Harry's witness statement, which is a 55-page long uh, witness statement, he writes that what, what I complain of here is illegal or unlawful and there is something which I feel incredibly strong about. I genuinely feel that in every relationship that I've ever had, be that with my friends, girlfriends, with family or with the army, there's always been a third party involved, that's namely the tabloid press. That is, the tabloid press have been all over Prince Harry's life. In every relationship that Prince Harry has ever had, there's always been a third party involved, and that is the tabloid press, always sticking their nose in Prince Harry's business. And Prince Harry says that it created a huge amount of paranoia in my relationships. I would become immediately suspicious of anyone that was named in a story about me. I felt that I couldn't trust anybody, which was an awful feeling for me, especially at such a young age. I feel somewhat relieved to know that my paranoia towards my friends and family had in fact been misplaced, although I've, I feel sad for how much it impacted my adolescence. Even in his witness statement, Prince Harry makes several references to his late mother, Princess Diana, and he says that there are even eight private investigator payments made in relation to my mother which I have only learned of since bringing my claim. This makes me physically sick. Imagine. So there are private investigators actually paid to go after Princess Diana. Like how sick is this? These people know no boundaries. They can do anything just to get a story from someone. So they paid people to actually follow around Princess Diana, to always get stories from Princess Diana, even hack into her phone or something. So you can see that all this is just so pathetic and I love that Prince Harry said that this makes me feel physically sick. He cannot contemplate the amount of um, obsession that these people actually have on people's lives. And Prince Harry even singled out Piers Morgan for the criticism that he's always shown Prince Harry and his wife and everything that Piers Morgan has ever been involved in. I think that I read that to you uh, previously. So you can see that everything that Prince Harry is saying right now is all that we've been seeing going on for a very long time. Everything that Prince Harry is saying right now is the truth of what has been going on for a very long time. And there is need to expose these people. There is no need for more blood to be shed just because the tabloids want to write a story. It's time to say uh, no and it's time to stop these people from continuing to damage people's lives and relationships. So let's just continue praying for Prince Harry. Let's continue wishing him luck as he continues with this uh, court case. And I believe that Prince Harry is going to emerge victorious in all this. So there'll be more developments coming up and I'll and I will be reporting on some of them. So just stay tuned and I'll see you all on the next podcast.